So, hey, how's it going, guys? Um, I know I gave a channel update yesterday, but... Oh, I mean, not yesterday. Um, the channel update video came out yesterday, but I decided to do another one. So, uh, basically, when I did that channel update video, that was about like three days ago. And in case you guys are wondering, yes, I am back to my old position because what happened was um, everything that I had in that room, because, like I said, this was... a uh, my original like spot where I did all my recordings and everything but then I moved to that room because that's where we um uh, that's uh, where I moved everything because we started clearing out everything in this area but the thing is now we cleared out everything in that area we moved the table over and a few things here and there but uh now so that room is pretty much just cleared out well my dad is still in there but that room is pretty much cleared out all the closets everything and uh yesterday oh my god dude yesterday was just tiring we were we got up at seven in the morning and went to go get the u-haul and we oh we already had everything packed up so just moving things over to the u-haul was uh, our just like our only job but the thing is oh my god so we live on the second apart uh, second story uh apartment building so we're on the second story so it wasn't like the first floor where we just like move everything over we literally had to carry all the heavy boxes and containers we had uh, downstairs back upstairs and everything so by the time we were done i was just sweating out of my mind and on top of that we donated our mattresses because i'm not going to keep those because those things have been with us since let's see it's 2024 since 2003 it's so those mattresses are over 20 years old but the conditions are pristine like uh, there's no holes there's no um, springs coming out and it's not even dirty because we always kept it covered up with plastic and also bed sheets so those were pristine so we donated them at um, a store called Bex Furniture so we donated those and uh, we came all the way back here loaded up the U-Haul uh, again with all the other containers because we, we got a 10 foot truck so not I mean 10 foot van so we couldn't put everything in one go and then we put that there and now everything uh, is in a U-Haul storage 90% uh, of it's my stuff <laughs> But um, everything in there is in a U-Haul storage, but we managed to condense it. So I managed to get a small U-Haul storage. And also I told them I was military. So um, they said that um, if I miss a payment or something like that, they're not going to auction off my stuff because they understand like, you know, uh, service members go through deployments or things like that. Sometimes it's hard to get in touch with them. <laughs> Excuse me. But basically that's how it is. So all my stuff is in U-Haul storage, but... Um, now, usually I condense my uh, image into just like a small rectangle. So that way I try not to show as much as the background, but this time I'm not doing that. So you guys can see everything here. Um, this is just like blankets because I have to stay here for at least one more night. Because if I leave right now, then I could literally just drive like three hours a day <laughs> all the way over to um, Quantico. Who knows? Maybe I'll do that. But I plan on start driving maybe this Sunday. It's Friday. So I'm literally getting the last of my paperwork because in two hours I have to go to my um office the officer's office so we call it the ost officer selection um crap i forgot what the t stood, it stood for <laughs> but the thing is um i have to go over there to get my um set of orders so that's what it is uh, so i still have to uh, uh stay here for at least another night and my dad too because my dad is i'm dropping uh, dropping off my dad at the airport tomorrow morning and he was and um basically you know what i'm not gonna reveal anything that's his personal business but uh, basically he's moving out and um, so this place is no longer going to be here so in two days I'm going to be gone and I'm going to be at Quantico but I was thinking about doing this um, two of my friends one of my uh, two of my co-workers because they also subscribe to my <laughs> uh, YouTube channel they did give me um, not an idea but a suggestion they asked that maybe I should vlog uh, my driving trip from here all the way to Quantico and I thought I mean it's uh, I mean, it does sound like a good idea, but I just need to make sure my phone and camera has all those, like, um, all the batteries needed and everything. And on top of that, I did buy this. So I did, um, crap. So I did use them once, um, in my, uh, USMC commissioning vlog video. I mean, if you guys haven't seen already, so you guys won't, haven't seen already, you guys won't know what I'm talking about. But if you did, then you know what. What I did was I bought these um, portable small mics where you can clip it onto your clothes so you can um, have like portable mics or just like, you know, hold it like a microphone. 
Um, I kind of messed up because I held it way too close and the audio was pretty loud in the, in the commissioning vlog, but um, I did the best I could because that was the first time I ever used these. And I just make sure it was tested correctly here and there. And you know, that's how it is. Because the one I have right now is for stationary, for like vlogging, I mean not vlogging, for games and recordings and things like that. But however, um, I thought of since now I'm going to be in the Marines, I'm going to be moving around, moving around a lot and my camera is going to be moving too. So I decided to get one of these. Also on top of that, one moment. I actually got a, I mean, it was kind of expensive, but I say it's worth it because I've been trying to, I've been testing it out, but I still need to set it up. I got this too, a uh, Insta360 GoPro camera. So that way... Um, I'll also have this and crap, where is it? Oh, here it is. And also this, a stand where I could use it to uh, mount the GoPro. So in case my uh, mounting arm for my camera that I'm using right now doesn't work, I can just like, you know, mount this and use it, use my GoPro as the camera like I'm using right now. Or, oh, this thing's not going to go down. <laughs> or I could just carry it around and vlog it too. So this is what I was thinking about doing. So I got um, cameras. I know it's pretty expensive, but um, I just see it as a wise investment. And so because um, it's the content I want to do and you guys are really enjoying the videos. Well, I don't know all of you guys, but many of you guys are enjoying the videos. So that's why I decided to uh, buy some of these. All right. Now um, for a content update. Right now, I have uh, a lot of videos all the way up to October 23rd. Last time I gave a content update, I think I was at the first week of October. So I did a lot of recording. I did as much recording as possible, but for recording right now, I can do today and tomorrow. So after this update video, I'm actually gonna start uh, doing some recordings with Star Wars and also some scary ghost videos. So I have been doing a lot more ghost videos a lot more uh, recently and trying to get them out in October because you know, Halloween's there and everything and I want to check those out. So I have a few more uh, scary videos and I hope you guys enjoy those. And just keeping giving you guys a heads up. The setting will be different, like my pre-moving setting. So I just want to give you a heads up on that part. <laughs> so if you guys make any suggestions or any recommendations, like can you check out these videos here and there um, starting tomorrow? I don't know if I can get to those because I'm only so far watching the videos I have saved up or the ones that my members are recommending to me. But as to the ones that you guys are recommending, um, I'm saving those, but I just don't know when, when I'm going to get to those. That's why. Uh, what else? Uh, oh, I have a lot of Apex Legends um, stories from the Outlands uh, videos done. And when I mean done, the recording. So I still need to edit them and get them out on YouTube. And um, I kind of branched out and did a lot more things. So I did Deathstroke, Arkham, I mean Arkham Assassin, which is a fan-made film. Um, I did Force Unleashed 2 trailer. I did a lot more cinematics. I plan on doing StarCraft cinematics starting tomorrow. Or maybe actually one today and one tomorrow because there's a StarCraft and Scar StarCraft 2, so that's why. But each of them are like an hour and a half, so I need to like kind of branch it out. But I do plan on watching those, Ho uh, hopefully. No promises, but I, I am trying. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, so I'm finalizing all my paperwork today. And um, tomorrow is just pretty much wrapping things up. A little bit more recording here and there. Uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more on Sunday because the plan is to leave... Uh, maybe like Labor Day, uh, Monday morning, like really early morning, like when there's no cars outside. And my plan is because I'll have six days to reach over there, but I'm trying to maybe spend one night in a hotel so I could get a haircut, shave, and also change it to my uh, uniform because I have to check in to the unit in a certain uh, uniform. Um, so that make uh, if I leave Monday morning, that will give me six days to drive from here all the way to um, Quantico, Virginia, which is 2,700 miles. I had my car checked out with diagnostics and repairs and the only thing we changed was the power fluid and the brake fluid and also some uh, some of the uh, sh shock absorbers. I'm sorry, I'm not good with car parts. <laughs> uh, I checked the brake pads, I checked the tire pressure, PSI, but I have an inflator, a uh, tire inflator in case it goes uh, low. <laughs> um, I have a tire patch kit and you know, here and there. But the thing is, uh, one thing I'm concerned is I'm taking a lot of stuff. like. Do you see those bags right there? Those are three C bags. And I'm, I'm taking like three more boxes because uh, one's gonna have my hygiene kit. Another one is just more clothes because I'm taking a lot of clothes over there because um, 
if you guys can see that right there, or here, let me turn it a little bit. Oh, my water ball's in the way. <laughs> so right there, um, in the uh, I have three sea bags. The one with the black hoodies on top are just clothes, and the one in the middle um, are all my military uniforms, like camis, everything like that. And the one on the left are just uh, a mixture, like more uh, military clothing and also civilian clothing. And on top of that, I have a... Turn this back. And uh, in one of the closets right now, I have another um, bag of uniforms. But however, those are formal uniforms. The reason I didn't put it in there is because I don't want to get them wrinkled or messed up. So that's why. So yeah, um, my car is going to be carrying like at least 100 to 150 uh, pounds. So the thing is, I'm going to be burning up a little bit more fuel. So that's why. And I got to put a little bit more air into my tires too. <laughs> But I sincerely hope a safe travel from here to there, but um, I talked to my mechanic because I trust him. He's been making repairs on my ca uh, car for a while now and he never lied to me. Because uh, I get it. Sometimes you're thinking like uh, car par uh, car places or you know auto garages or mechanics will lie to you. So like try to rip you off so that way they can sell you on parts that you don't really need until later. But for him, he's not doing that. He's an independent contractor and I've always been honest with him and he's always been honest with me and we're close. So that's why. And um, he told me like, no, no, yeah, you don't need to do any of that, all that. Just make sure you do this. Don't drive uh, faster than this and um, take breaks in between so your car doesn't overheat, things like that. But overall, um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just trying to like uh, plan some pit stops here and there, but I only know like major cities I'm going to be going. So my first goal for the first day is from here, Sacramento, uh, California, all the way to at least Salt Lake City within the first day. That's my goal. Uh, and what else okay so that's my traveling plan um so i'll try to do a vlog if i can but if i uh, if i don't i'm sorry about that guys uh what else um mm, so content videos things like that oh i do have a discord um i've been having i had this channel discord on my channel for a while now but i'm the only one on there <laughs> But I get it. I'm still a small channel. I did have one person on there, but no, no one else joined and he left because of the inactivity. I did post as many um, announcements on there as much as possible, but no one else has joined yet. So I don't know about the Discord. But if you guys want to join the Discord, please put it down in the comments below and I'll give you guys the link. I might be a little bit more active on the Discord than on YouTube because um, Discord is a better way to uh, just send you guys messages instead of commenting on like certain videos. That's why. What else? What else? Um, yeah, so um, I will have to make another uh, stop to the, my storage unit because the desk I'm using right now, the table, I will need to put that into storage because I'm not going to take that there. And the blanket, the blue blanket, I don't know if you guys can see that in the corner. Blue blanket, I'm going to store that too. The blanket I'm using as like, you know, just a cover, I'm throwing that away because it's kind of old. And also there's a pull-up bar over there. I'm going to put that into storage. So there are like three things I need to put back into storage. But yeah, I mean... That's just the channel update I want to give you guys. Um, so uh, just letting you guys know, I will be at uh, Quantico, Virginia, because according to my friend, because he had the pretty much same schedule because he started in uh, last year in September and he ended in uh, March. So I'm going to be on the East Coast for at least eight months from September 9 all the way to March something. Now, the re reason why I have to stay, stay there a little bit longer, because um, TBS, the basic school, is about six to seven months. Um, I think it's like 29 weeks. So that's... Oh, I'm tripping out. That is seven, seven months. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the reason why it's going to be longer is because uh, we get 96s, which is a uh, four-day weekend starting Friday all the way to next Mondays. And on top of that, um, so 96s could be like, you know, Thanksgiving's, um, certain holidays, for example, this is actually technically a 96 because of uh, Labor Day. And on top of that, um, oh wow, so my commanding, my commanding officer here, OSO, uh, which is, uh, OSO means Officer Selection Officer, it's an acronym, not a name. Um, she's actually doing me a favor because I told her I was going to pick up orders today and she just said, sounds good, but technically it's a 96. Oh wow, she's doing me a favor. Okay, I really have to thank her for that. Uh, and also we get two weeks off in uh, December because of Christmas because technically it's a federal I don't know I don't want, want to use the word federal actually it's a two-week uh, winter break just like how schools do so 
that's why we're gonna have some time off so maybe i'll do a little bit more recording then if not i'm gonna try to spend a little bit more time with my friends but i don't know because with my dad gone and i'm an only child there's no more family so that's why uh so i might do a little bit more recording then who knows maybe i'll start andromeda <laughs> but overall i'm gonna be there f until march now when i get stationed uh to some places um, I don't know where, maybe I'll stay on the East Coast or maybe I'll come back to the West Coast at Camp Pendleton in, uh, in uh, San Diego, California. Or maybe I could be one of my friends who will be stationed in Japan again because I, I've been to Okinawa. Uh, Japan or Hawaii, who knows. But once I get stationed there, I will be staying there to at least two to three years. So I'll be planting kind of semi-solid roots in a way. And when that happens, maybe I'll be a little bit more stabilized. I'll have my own room. And maybe that's when I can start doing a little bit more recording. So I just, I'm just asking you guys to be just a little bit more patient with me. I'm trying to put as many videos as I can right now, but there may be a gap in between where there's no videos at all. So I just want to let you guys know on that part. But on top of that, um, thank you to two more members, not one, two more members that joined within the last two days. I haven't sent the announcement like, um, like a community post, but since I'm doing an update video, I might as well do a kind of like a shout out thing so actually let me bring up their names so shout out to hey you know what i'm gonna give a shout out to all my members but i'll just let you guys know which ones are the new ones so bear with me here so starting with the two members i want to give a shout out to jesus esparza uh, who joined uh, yesterday and i may be saying this incorrectly salt uh zolt vis uh, visigradi uh, who joined about like a day and a half ago so shout out to those two members and also shout out to all my other members who have been with me for a while uh, the longest uh, member who has been with me is vex darth vex and i want to and uh, give a shout out to um i may be saying this wrong sir S sauce a lot <laughs> and also roman hardware now uh roman if you're watching this uh you are currently my most active uh member on the channel because you literally post it a comment almost on every single video <laughs> and i'm not saying that's a bad thing i'm just saying like uh, you're the most active out of all and also uh, shout out to naxi who has been with me since almost the beginning of the channel and also shout out to uh hobbit and shout out to beware the batman viet.s wolves gaming josh uh, josh sinan career uh jeremy dalton and the other two members uh who are brand new which i gave a shout earlier so Overall, I have a total of, oh, I think I lost count. Uh, a total of 13 members as of right now, which is mind blowing. Cause I didn't think I was gonna get more than two. <laughs> but I guess you guys really like my content. So at least that counts for something. But either way, um, if you guys want to um, join the membership, you guys are more than welcome to. But however, um, I uh, here's the thing. I'm just going to do this out of courtesy. And my members, if you're watching this, uh, I'm not ashamed to say this or anything like that. So um, feel free to listen. I highly recommend maybe ca uh, canceling or holding your membership starting in November. Because the thing is, um, like I said, I have more than enough videos to go until the end of October. But November or in December is a little iffy until I can figure out something over there. Uh, because the thing is, uh, the, that's the reason why I have at least one video coming out every single day. Because I want you guys to get the full membership benefits. Early access to videos, the emoji, I mean not emoji, the membership badges. I don't have emojis yet. Um, the shout outs, the members only posts and things like that. But I don't know if I can give you all those benefits starting November. So if you guys do want to cancel or um, hold your memberships until I can uh, re-solidify everything again. I'm not taking any offense or I'm not going to be sad about it. I, I, I do understand. Everyone has their certain financial uh, situations and uh, it is a subscription about like three to five dollars a month. And I'd rather have you guys save that money and uh, use it somewhere else or save it instead of just spending it here and uh, not getting uh, what you paid for. I mean, sure, it is revenue to me, but I'd rather have you guys save it instead. So that's why. But if you guys want to keep on paying it, go right ahead. It's your choice, but I'm just giving you a heads up of what may happen. And just doing the courtesy of letting you know if you do uh, want to cancel your membership and your subscriptions, you guys are more than welcome to. You're not going to hurt my feelings or anything like that. I do understand. So, um, 
Uh, well, I mean, that's all I got for uh, this channel update. Wow, I've been speaking for 20 minutes. <laughs> that is crazy. But anyways, um, let's see. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I should be also be posting uh, the very first episode of Mass Effect 3 should have come out already. So if you guys have watched that, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. But and also more Mass Effect 3 episodes will be coming out one episode every single day. So the last episode should be coming out in uh, one moment because Mass Effect 3 was a bit longer than the other two. And I kind of stretched it out because uh, there was a lot of side missions and a lot more DLCs. So the last episode of Mass Effect 3 will come out in uh, September 16, uh, which is basically, uh, let's see, September 16, which is 17 episodes total. And I also did a post, not post credit actually, um, after game thoughts and reviews, just like how I've been doing with Mass Effect 2, uh, 2 and 1. And a lot of you guys have been saying you guys really do want to see me play Andromeda, Mass Effect and Andromeda, even though it's not as good as the other three. But however, they said you guys said like it's unique in its own way, really good gameplay, a different story here and there. So I will consider playing Andromeda. So my goal, my goal, I mean, my plan right now is to play uh, Mass Effect and Andromeda because it's going to be brand new. But after I'm done with that, then I'm going to head back to Mass Effect 1 and play all the way to Mass Effect 3 this time, but this time as a renegade, and also I'll try to take my time a little bit more, like complete as much as I can, like 100% completion, because uh, maybe I'll have a little bit more time this time. Because, uh, um, like I said, I did kind of rush it because of my schedule, but you guys really did understand and put a lot of nice things to say, saying, I do understand your situation, I do understand your timing, so I really do thank you for that. Now, um, besides that, that's all I got, but I got a lot more SCP videos, a lot more Star Wars videos, a lot more Ghost videos, Apex Legends. I also did Rainbow um, Six Siege, and I even reacted to Spec Ops The Line. And um, I'm moving a little bit more into Star uh, StarCraft, and also did a lot more Gears of War as well. Um, I only reacted to Gears of War 1 and 2 right now, but Gears of War 3 and afterwards, I'm trying to figure out because uh, if I do StarCraft, then I won't have time for Gears of War, so that's the only issue. But I hope you guys do understand and hope you guys enjoy the reactions. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and thank you so much for listening to me for 22 minutes. If you guys did listen to me all the way from the beginning all the way to the end. <laughs> so I do thank you for that and <clears throat> thank you so much for all your support so far and your continued support. Hopefully um, I'll be able to get everything situated once I head over to the East Coast and continue this channel from there, there on. But until then, thank you for everything. Shout out to all my members. Shout out to all my subscribers. You guys are amazing. So until then, I'll see you guys next time.